is important, but planning and being prepared for when something happens that wasn't planned is equally important. And the next guest that is here today is going to talk to us about how to protect your assets. I think that this is really, really important because, you know, so many of us, um, hurricane season's coming. So many of us don't have a plan. You may go out and buy water and peanut butter, but do you really have a plan, you know, should something happen? You know, recently in New York with the floods, my cousin um, worked works in insurance and he went and assessed all the damage of the, of the floods and the stories he has shared with us are, are just amazing at what these people have suffered from. If you don't have a plan when that emergency hits, when that sinkhole happens, um, you can lose a lot for your family. So please welcome to the set right now, the incredible Tony Zufelt. Thank you so much for being here, oh, Tony. Kathleen. Thank so you. Good to see you. It's so good to see you as always. And you look beautiful as always. Thank you. Tell everybody who you are and what you do. Uh, what I do is home inventory, uh, and that's really who I am. It's an emotional thing that I do. I go in and document everything in people's homes to make sure that they have the plan as part of their plan. They have everything documented through video, photo, listing, as well as through scanning documents. It's to make sure that if something happens, they can move on quicker and with more money. Okay, I think that's important. You know, when we first started talking, I don't have a home inventory. You know, if something happened, I couldldn't tell you how many um, pairs of shoes I have, like we'll Dee mentioned about. earlier. Absolutely, we need to. Um, so when I think about that, it's like you don't realize, you can guess, you remember a lot of the expensive things, but you know, what would happen if, if there was a fire? You know, what would happen if there was a sinkhole? What would happen if the hurricane wiped away your house? How prepared would you be? And how much could it, um, how much could it cost you? Which is important. So tell me this story. You told me a story about your husband and what he experienced and um, the lesson he learned, you learned, you know, that they can learn from that experience. Exactly, and I did get permission from my husband. I specifically said, honey, I'm gonna tell something about your not so brilliant move, and he <laughs> said, it's okay, go ahead, it's all right. Uh, what happened was we had a pipe break in the wall in our home, in our home office, and we didn't realize it for a couple of days because we had a floating wood floor but once we stepped on the floor barefooted and realized it was wet, we went, uh-oh, okay. Well, my husband immediately went to his laptop that he had sitting in the living room and found out who, his, who our agent was, called him up and said, I'm gonna submit a claim, and went onto his computer and he started putting together all the information. In the meantime, I'm trying to move some light stuff out of the office, and I went out to him and I said, honey, I think I need your help. He said, hang on a second, I'm putting in a claim. And I, I stopped for a second and I looked at him very quizzically and he looked back at me and he went, oh. And I said, yeah, honey, that's what I do. Why don't you let me do that? And he said, okay. Uh, so what I did was I called our agent and I said, we're putting in a claim. We had a pipe break. Um, so I'm going to send you some stuff. He said, okay, this is what I need. And I said, no, let me tell you what you're going to get. What you will get is pictures of everything that was in the room, uh, those things that were damaged before and after. You'll get a full listing of everything in the room as well as I will highlight those things that were damaged. You'll get the values of everything that were in there, what we purchased them for, and in some cases the year it was purchased. Uh, there will be a total for you so you know what we're claiming. Um, you will also get uh, the pictures of everything from before and after so there won't be any question. He said, okay, so I guess I can expect that, what, next week? And I said, no, actually, I can get it to you in the next five minutes. There was a slight pause, <laughs> and he said, uh, okay, you gotta tell me what it is that you do. And I said, well, I do home inventory for a living. That is my job, that's my business. And he said, okay. I said, I will call you in about five minutes just to confirm you got the, uh, the stuff that I'm gonna email it to you in about five minutes. Five minutes later, I sent it to him. Five minutes later, I got a response back from him that said, great pictures, great information, check is on the way. Wow. When I went to my husband and looked at what he was submitting and what I submitted, he had already forgotten about some stuff that was damaged, and it was on my list, and I think we tripled what we would have gotten if he had placed the order. See, I think I, that's why you're here today, because I think that everybody needs to realize this, that it's a minimal investment that can save your family thousands and thousands of dollars if, if, if you don't have it. But I think more importantly, it can help protect you legally 
and it can help remove a lot of the insurance red tape. You know what I mean? Like if, if it takes Absolutely. the agent to go down there and try and assess the damage and verify the damage, it looks a, it looks more official if it's coming from a third party source, you know, that isn't going to um, fudge it, you know what I mean? Be exactly. more creative with it. So it, it takes less time for them to investigate. And in a moment of crisis, you need to have access to your funds. Like you need to be able to, you know, get that money back as, as quickly as you can so your family can continue to move on. Well, if you think about it, a lot of people, when they go through the stress of a fire, or a hurricane and everything is blown away and the first thing your insurance agent will ask for is proof that you had those items they will always pay you for the basics they assume that but artwork silver uh, collections all of those things are things that you need to present proof of uh, we've proven it at Wom Tech meetings that people forget what they've got and they continually go back to their insurance agent to resubmit a claim and sometimes it could take six months to a year and even a year and a half to keep remembering things and resubmitting. Mm -hmm. Sometimes that causes issues, it causes problems between the homeowner and the insurance agent. A lot of times a homeowner will assume that the insurance agent is being difficult and he's not. He needs to have proof. Uh, if it takes you that long to get the money and you're still not getting what you should mm -hmm. be getting, why not do an inventory because if you plug in the thumb drive send it to the insurance agent it's done you don't have to think about it you don't have to worry about it and your check comes and you're ready to move on before we started taping today you mentioned something about sending that thumb drive to uh, somebody out of state i would never in a million years have thought about that because i would have just taken it and put it in a security safety deposit box nearby what is your logic on why they should send that a copy of it someplace else in a different state First of all, what we do is when we do the inventory, we give our clients a portfolio and within that portfolio is a thumb drive and that has everything listed from the inventory on it. We keep an additional copy in our safety deposit box as a backup for our customers. But we make a suggestion that they take that thumb drive that they have, make a copy of it and send it to somebody out of state. And the reason that we do that is if the electricity goes out, you can't get into your safety deposit box. They can't open the door so that you can get in it's much easier to get a hold of somebody out of state and say you have my thumb drive could you please send this to so and so and it's done and no worries that's it's you know, over that is such a wise uh, suggestion because uh, you know think about it where is your safety deposit box probably at your bank where is the bank probably real close to where you live because it's convenient yes. and so what are the chances that they may have problems and damages too you know I think that that's very important now you also mentioned something that kind of shocked me a little bit because it was um, it made me think out of the box like I think most people when they do a home inventory they're you know they're gonna wait until they're established and they have a lot of stuff in their home that's valued it a lot because you know that's what they need to replace but that's actually really backwards thinking. Like you don't wait until you have stuff that's important that's going to cost a lot of money. Exactly. You need it more when you don't have stuff because that's like like if you live in a duplex, that's when you're more likely to have fire damage from the person that lives next door to you or whatever. Right. So who who should consider? Or let's re-educate them mm -hmm. um, on who should consider getting a home inventory outside of just people worried about a hurricane taking away your home. If you have stuff, you should get an inventory. Because if you think about the fact that it doesn't matter how little amount of stuff you have, if you don't document it and you don't protect it and cover your assets, you're going to have to replace that. That's going to have to come out of your pocket. That means that you're going to have to replace all the shoes and all the clothes, all the dishware, all the pots and pans, all of the little tchotchkes, all of your furniture, all of that. So if you're having to put that money out of your pocket, it's really, really hard. So if you document and then you can submit it to your insurance agent, you don't have to think about it, you don't have to worry about it, and you don't have to get stressed about it either. You know, I think that would be a great gift for um, somebody going off to college, you know, that, that's getting their own apartment off campus or something like that. Because, I mean, college kids would have a tendency of probably making not the wisest decision, <laughs> which means they can, have, they can have a lot more um, chances of having problems with their assets. And if you're, you know, 19 and you're headed off to college and you have your own apartment and you're accumulating furniture and you're, you know, all your computer 
computer stuff and, and all of that, if a 19 year old were to lose all of their stuff, well, A, it becomes mom's problem. <laughs> right. Um, but B, you know, it can become, um, it, can, it can really set them back. It can set them back so much that they don't continue with college. So I think that rethinking who gets it, like before you get married, you know, maybe it's a good idea or after a wedding present, after you get married doing that. Who else might use um, home inventory? Like when would lawyers use this in, in any Absolutely. situation? Absolutely. Uh, a great portion of my referrals come from lawyers. Uh, I've done inventories for divorcing couples when they can't decide who's going to get what. When they split, a lot of times it's easier to do an inventory or to have an inventory done. That way they can take it into their lawyer and they can sit and decide there. And it gets done and you don't have to worry about it. Uh, prenups are really good if you've got two couples that have already established homes but are moving in together. In this day and age, you can never be sure of what's going to happen, mm -hmm. so you want to be prepared. And by being prepared, if she has her stuff documented, he has his stuff documented, there's never a question about if something happens and they split, who brought what into the marriage. Uh, trusteeships, guardianships, they're instructed by the courts to do inventories. So it's an excellent thing, uh, the power of a third party inventory, having a home inventory professional come in and do the inventory means that they don't have to worry about the family coming back to them and saying, you know, well, I know that my mother had this, where is it? Right. They can have the inventory show it to them and say it was never there when the inventory professional did it. Okay. So it takes away the pressure for them. I think that's so important and it's it's so educating. You know, I've, I've met you a hundred times and you've mentioned the name of your company, but never would I have thought of a college kid needing your services or would I have thought of someone getting married or someone thinking about a divorce, you know, <laughs> referring them to you. But that is the best way to protect yourself and, and to protect your assets and, and take make sure that, that you're safe no matter what situation that you go into. Exactly. So Now, before we conclude, I do want to just quickly mention that Tony has been a huge supporter with the WOMTEC Foundation and empowering women and children who have been abused, neglected, and aban ab abandoned through no fault of their own with the courage to dream. And I want to personally just thank you for helping us. We um, just were able to purchase the first 100 t-shirts. So now all we have to do is finish printing the book. That's and so it's cool. our goal this summer to give away the first 100 kits to 100 children aging out of foster care. And I thank you for that, for, for that support. Uh, D2A, you you've also welcome. been a supporter of that. I thank you so very much of that. So we're going to continue to make a, di a difference in the lives of children who are struggling you know, through no fault of their own and give them a chance, which is important. So. I love you for that. And I, that's actually the power of WOMTEC. That really is the power of WOMTEC. Well, that together, we're gonna, together, together we're going to do it. We're going to continue to make a difference. So Absolutely. thank you so much for being here today. You're welcome. Um, thank you, Kathleen. My pleasure. My pleasure. God bless you.